In this video, I'll show you how to generate a video using AI. Canva has two ways to do it, Canva AI and Magic Media. We will go through both. Let's take a look at Canva AI first. With Canva open, look for the Canva AI icon in the left-hand toolbar. Click to open it and you'll see a prompt box. This is where you'll write your prompt. Inside that box, there's also a plus sign in a circle. Hover over it and you'll see Add Media. Clicking it opens your Uploads folder, but you can also pull from your designs or upload something new. This is especially useful if you want to give AIA reference image to work with. To the right, you'll also see a microphone icon if you want to use voice prompts, and to the right of that, the arrow button to generate your video once your prompt is ready. At the bottom of the prompt box, you'll see five options. Design for me, create an image, draft a document, code for me, and create a video clip. Since we're making a video, we'll choose create a video clip. Let's work on our prompt. The quality of your video depends entirely on your prompt. The more specific and detailed your prompt, the better the results. Include details about the subject, style, motion, perspective, lighting, vibe, camera angles, and any other key elements. The more information AI has, the better the outcome. Here's an example prompt. A photorealistic toddler standing happily outdoors wearing colorful rain boots and a warm jacket. He's standing beside a puddle that reflects his joyful, mischievous expression and the cloudy sky above. The ground is still wet from recent rain and the soft overcast light makes the scene warm and gentle. The boy looks curious and excited, ready to jump in with both feet and splash in the puddle. We want the camera to be close to the ground. After you enter your prompt, Canva will show you customization options. While you may have already included some of these in your prompt, it can't hurt to choose them again here. Style is first. We already said photorealistic in our prompt, and there is an option for photorealistic. Click on it. Aspect ratio is next with only 16.9 at the moment. Canva expects to bring 916 soon. Duration is currently fixed at 8 seconds. Canva plans to add more options later. Framing. Take a look at the options and select how you want the shot framed. Lighting. See what will work best here and pick the mood and style of lighting. Once you've chosen all of these, click the purple Submit button. You'll see a message saying it may take a couple of minutes to generate. Unlike AI images, which give you four options, video only generates one clip. The video you generate is only eight seconds long, and often you'll need to refine your prompt a few times before you get something you're happy with. That's normal. The key is to review, refine, and regenerate. Once the video has finished rendering, Canva gives us two options. Either download as an MP4 HD file or send it to the Canva editor. Here's the difference. If you download the video, it's a high quality, ready to upload video to save to your computer or upload to social media. This is a final version and you won't be able to edit it again. On the other hand, if you choose send to Canva editor, your project stays fully editable. Let's look at our other option, Magic Media. Magic Media is found in the left side toolbar. Click it open. Once open, you'll see three categories, images, graphics, and video. Choose video. We are going to use the same prompt we used earlier in our Canva AI demo. Copy it and paste it into the prompt box. Notice the difference. With Magic Media, you don't get options for style, aspect ratio, or lighting. You may need to adjust some of those details directly into your prompt. Click to generate, and again, it will take a couple of minutes. The video appears on the left. Click and drag it onto your canvas. This one is only four seconds long. Canva AI definitely offers more control and longer clips. When you're happy with your video, click share, then download, then MP4, and drag your video into your open uploads folder once it has downloaded. What do you do with your new video? There are tons of things. You can use it as B-roll in your YouTube videos, 
make it into a short for Instagram Reels or TikTok, use it as a creative background for presentations, ads, or slideshows. Basically, anywhere you need video content, you can now generate it instantly with AI. And that's it. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider subscribing to the channel. And check out my last video on AI image generation if you missed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. <laughs>